especially in a presidential year, we need a great hot dog, a hot dog that rises above the rest. Well, I'm bringing it to you, and it's inspired by a favorite place of mine when I was a child, Howard Johnson's. Now, for those of you who don't know, Howard Johnson's used to be a huge deal. It was a restaurant, it was a motel chain, and the food at Howard Johnson's was little Daphne's favorite. Howard Johnson's, it's funny that it's not a big deal now because it was such a big deal, but they had a children's menu that had some really good food, including a grilled Frankfort. I know, what is that? It's this, it was grilled in butter, and this is where our story starts. So I got Farmer John because I'm a Dodger fan, and Farmer John makes the Dodger dogs that we have, but these are smaller than Dodger dogs. For the most part, the only way people make hot dogs differently is with the toppings, but we're doing something different. We're gonna split it open. So in the Howard Johnson's hot dog, they used to cross cut it, but I split it open like this, and that's gonna help us change the taste ever so, make it a little more crispy, a little more flavorful, and, and also then you can really soak in the butter or whatever grease you use. So as you can see, I'm putting the hot dogs face down, cut down on a pan. Now I had just cooked a bunch of bacon, so I thought, oh well, you never want to let bacon grease go to waste. But the Howard Johnson's uh, magic was butter. You fried them in butter. Either way, fat, fat, more fat. Oh, and here's the butter. But the butter in this case isn't for the dogs. The butter is going to be for something else, which I will reveal. Let me show you what these look like. Flip it over. Okay, see that little burnt crispy bits? This is already gonna be better than your regular boiled hot dogs. Now, of course, you could also split them and put them on the coals. That's a very summer thing to do, barbecue. If you've never done the split, try the split. Now we get out the bun. Open it up, you know, like a hot dog. And then we get the butter involved. Hmm, what a fancy pan I'm putting that on. So we're pouring the melted butter on, uh, there you go, on the bun. Now, you could do classic, oh, let's just have some ketchup or whatever your regular toppings are. But me, I like to do something a little different. In this case, I'm doing some chimichurri sauce, which is just basically like chopped up parsley garlic. I've also done a tomato bacon relish, and it is delicious. You know, I realized as I was eating this, what it reminds me of, a classic, lobster roll because what does a lobster roll have a really nice buttery bun so make a great hot dog and then you can vote for the one you like best with butter without on the coals on the pan let me know which one you enjoy the most happy summer